today we have Mr. KSI's Lamborghini Aventador. Ferrari 488 Spider, a McLaren P1. Aston Martin DBS has just turned up. Bentley GT. And a Lamborghini Huracan. Ferrari 458 Spider. Mercedes AMG GTS. Today we're wrapping an Aston Martin Rapid. The Guiney Wire Limited Edition car. Rolls Royce Long Wheelbase Phantom. A Porsche 918 Spider. Vysac, a McLaren 720S. I don't know any other rap company that have had an Aston Martin Vulcan in their unit. Porsche Cayman 718. There was a niche in the market, there was not that many people doing it, so I thought, why not start wrapping full cars? I'd like to think that I'm one of the pioneers because I got into this industry very, very early, so everyone saw what I did and they thought, I can replicate that. You can replicate a wrapping business. The issue you've got is getting the client base. My client base is celebrities, but it is high net worth individuals. It's not easy to get that client base. And for them to work with you, one, you need to be priced correctly, and two, they need to trust you. Trust is key in this industry. We are fully booked for about three months on average all year round. And I've got nearly 20 staff. Celebrity wise, I'll name drop. You've got all of One Direction, including Harry Styles. You've got all of JLS. You've got Rochelle Humes, who is married to, who's married to Marvin. You've got Sergio Aguero, Didier Drogba, John Terry, Rupert Grint from Harry Potter, uh, Gordon Ramsay, Bakary Sanya, Theo Walcott, um, just David Hay, Anthony Joshua. I can sit here and name drop all day long. My phone book is a, is a great phone book. On my left, Porsche Cayman, chrome gold. On my right, Range Rover Sport, chrome gold. And obviously behind me is the Bentley GTC. So a customer will turn up with their car. The first thing that needs to happen is the car needs to be cleaned. That is so, so important. So once you clean the car and the area around the car is clean, so to make sure there's no dust, then the car needs to be stripped. So wing mirrors, handles, uh, bumpers sometimes, depending on what color the original car is. And then once you lay it, the squeegee technique. It looks really, really easy when you watch it. I see my guys do it and I'm like, that's really easy. The minute you try, you'll get a big bubble or you'll get a crease in the vinyl. Once you've then laid it, you need to superheat it to a certain temperature to make sure that vinyl will stay down once it goes outside in the elements. Once you finish, fit the car back together, give it a final check, and then the customer can take it away. I've got wrappers that have been wrapping six months, I've got wrappers that have been wrapping eight years. It's, it's attention to detail, it's how quick you can pick it up. I've seen rappers that have been telling me they've wrapped for 10 years. They've come here and the quality is really, really poor. So it's just attention to detail if you've got the patience and if you, you really believe in what you're doing. A normal person trying to wrap a car would struggle. My guys are professionals, they're very, very good at their jobs. People struggle trying to put a screen protector on their phone. These guys are wrapping full cars and these guys are very, very good. Hi guys, it's Mark and Nico. Another day, another chrome car. Hashtag humble life. So wrapping actually protects the paintwork from stone chips. If you're driving down the motorway and you get a stone chip, the wrap um, material should actually protect it from the paintwork getting damaged. When you get bored after six months or even three years, you can actually remove the vinyl with heat again and the paintwork underneath should stay perfect. All it will need is just a clean and a polish. People always ask, what is the paintwork going to be like underneath? And you can see, fresh, like brand new. No issues, very little glue residue. Just needs a good clean once you strip a car. Depending on what car it is, cars can take different amount of times. If you've got a, a, a BMW 3 Series, my guys could probably wrap that in two or three days. 
Um, if you're gonna wrap that in chrome, it might take four to five days. And there's a big price difference between a satin gloss and a matte and a chrome vinyl. A satin car can be anything between 1,500 pound and about 3,000 pounds. A chrome car can be from four or 5,000 pound up to 10, 12,000 pounds. Wow. So it's expensive chrome, but you get the most wow factor. Rose gold has arrived. This is my signature color. She's beautiful. We do love a rose gold. My personal cars are wrapped in like a chrome turquoise. So people think, what the hell is that? Some people love it, the majority of people hate it. But for me, I don't care. As long as it stands out and people talk about it, it's doing its job and it's giving great exposure for the company. Yes, I say we do celebrities cars and high net worth individuals. We'll of course do Joe Public as well. We've got 17 year olds that have their first car and they get it wrapped as a, as a birthday present. So it might be like a Vauxhall Corsa. You can wrap a Vauxhall Corsa in like a satin black. And the reason I use satin black is the most popular color for maybe 1200 pounds, 1400 pounds. That is a Fiat 500 and it is very, very old. So that's the little tight sport racer. You're wrapping a toilet, yeah. wow. I've got massive social media presence. I've got 1.2 million on YouTube. I've got 1.5 million on Instagram. So TV shows kept approaching us. And then we got offered a show called Yanni Supercar Customizer. We had 20 episodes came out last season. We filmed series two, and that is now out every single Wednesday, eight o'clock on Dave. Um, you'll see celebrities, someone like David Hay, Lethal B, Aston from JLS. You get to see Rolls Royce. You get to see smart cars. You get to see a, a Porsche 918. You get to see things that go wrong as well. What you see goes on at a garage. So yes, we have a great atmosphere here and a great relationship with all my staff, but when it goes wrong, I lose it a little bit. Just a, just a little bit, but it's real. What you see is real and it's the day-to-day -day life of the animals.